Yo, what's up everybody, it's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the iPhone 14 Plus. Now you can pick this one up online, I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one starts at 900 bucks. I repeat, 900 bucks for this bullshit. Now I gotta be totally honest and transparent with y'all. Today's supposed to be my day off, but shout out to my girl. Okay, she sent me a bunch of BBQ's drinks, a bunch of food, told me to take it easy. But about 30 minutes ago, I got a UPS package. I opened it up. I seen it was the iPhone 14 Plus. I completely forgot that I ordered this. And I said, you know what? Let me get this out the way right now because tomorrow I'm doing my full review for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Now look, y'all come to my channel because y'all want the truth. And sometimes you want tough love. So I got to give y'all some tough love. And let me say this, and when I say this, I mean no disrespect at all, but if you buy this iPhone 14 Plus for 900 bucks, you're a fucking idiot. All right, this is, now look, y'all heard the term cash grab? This is the most cash grabbiest cash grab phone that I've ever seen. For 900 bucks, this is a fucking joke, okay? Let me break it down for you real quick. The way I look at people is I think there's two kind of people in the world. Here's a perfect example. You're going to buy a new car, all right? And let me know which kind of person you are. You're going to buy a new car. You go to the Honda dealership. One person will say, let me get a 2022, all right, brand new Honda Accord, the base model. Let me get the cheapest one that I could get right now that's brand new. A 2022 Honda Accord base model, the cloth seats, okay, 15 inch wheels, single exhaust pipe on the back, <laughs> that one is going to be 20,000 bucks. Let's just say that. That's one kind of person. They want the brand new car, the cheapest one that they could get. And then you got the second kind of person that will go to the same dealership and say, you know what? That one is 20,000. What about a 2021? A 2021 Honda Accord SE Special Edition, leather seats, the Bose stereo system, dual exhaust. How much is that one? Same price, okay, but it's a year older and it has 30,000 miles. Which kind of person are you? Now, me personally, I'd rather have last year's phone or car, for that example, last year's car, fully loaded, as opposed to this year's car or phone with the base specs. This phone right here, iPhone 14 Plus, this is last year's phone. I don't know why nobody's talking about this. This is an iPhone 13. Now, I don't know why Apple is calling it an iPhone 14. This is an iPhone 13. This is a cash grab. This is trash. But we got to review it and unbox it. So let's get and do that. First things first, shout out to White Shoes back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Let me sharpen up my knife there. White shoes. White shoes. I love my white shoes. Count them down. Now, again, I'm a little bit tipsy right now, but y'all know the old saying, um, drunk minds speak a sober tongue. I don't know, I, I, y'all know the saying. Basically what I'm trying to say is, drunk niggas be telling the truth. I gotta tell y'all the truth about this. This is the dumbest purchase right now that you could make. And let me show you why. Even before I go through the specs and unbox it, if you go to eBay right now, you can get an iPhone 13 Pro Max. That's this phone right here. iPhone 13 Pro Max for 850 bucks. Now that's brand new. Another brand new right here, excellent condition, 900 bucks. Okay, 900 bucks. This phone right here, this is way better. I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, it's way better. That's why Apple, they think they slick. If you go to apple.com, they are not showing the 13 Pro Max for sale anymore because who the fuck would buy this shit when you could buy this? Who would do that? All right, let me calm down, let me calm down, let me calm down. All right, first things first iPhone 14, 14 Plus, this one comes in five different colors. So you got blue, purple, midnight, starlight, and red. Now for the pricing, 128 gigs, that's gonna run you 900 bucks. 256 gigs, 1,000 bucks, and 512 gigs, 1,200 bucks. Now if you buy an iPhone 14 Plus for 1,200 bucks, you're a fucking idiot. You can go out and spend a couple of extra dollars and get the 14 Pro Max. This is a real upgrade. You buy the 14 Plus, you're not getting any dynamic island activities, you're not getting always on display, and you're getting last year's processor. 
Now, I, I, I like I said, I, I hate to be cursing in my videos, but sometimes you got to curse to let people know that you're serious. I, you got to let people know that you see now shoes shoes bringing all her little friends your shoes why what she was dropping all these little little bugs off your I gotta vac I gotta vacuum shoes off anyway let's continue with the specs for the display you got a 6.7 inch super retina OLED display with a resolution of 1284 by 2778 now that's 458 for the PPI patrol the phone is IP68 dust and water resistant you got HDR 10 1200 nits brightness and a 60 hertz refresh rate. Again, you get the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you got a 120 hertz refresh rate. Let's keep it moving. Processor, <laughs> listen to this. iPhone 14 Plus, this has the Apple A15 Bionic Supersonic Titanium Uranium chipset. That's all fine and dandy, but what does that mean in English? That means last year's chipset. This is last year's chipset. Okay, you're getting six gigs of RAM, 128, 256, or 512 gigs of storage, no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. And again, if you just want last year's phone, why not get this phone? It comes it went one terabyte. You could probably find a used one terabyte for 1200 bucks right now. Battery life, 4,323 milliamps. That features 20 watt fast charge. I air quotes, fast charge, zero to 50% in 30 minutes. Now you also got 15 watt wireless charge. For the cameras on the rear, you got a dual setup. So you got a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 12 megapixel ultra wide. Again, for the same price, you get a 13 Pro Max. Now you got three cameras. You're getting better zoom. Okay, it's just a better camera all around. On the front, you got a 12 megapixel wide angle lens and you can shoot 4K 60 frames per second from either camera. All right, that's fine and dandy. You got dual stereo speakers and face ID. But what's missing? No 120 watts refresh rate, uh, 120 watts. No, no 120 hertz refresh rate. No always on display. No dynamic island. No floss factor. All right, this is like, this, this should have been called an iPhone 13 S. And I would have been like, okay, cool, 13S, that's fine. Because think about it like this. If you got an iPhone 13, that's the small version. If you wanted a big peasant phone, you didn't really have a choice. You had to go with a tw iPhone 12. So I understand. Some people say, okay, you know what? I want the peasant phone, but I want a big peasant phone. Yeah, but for 900 bucks, are you fucking kidding me? This phone should have been 700 bucks for the 14 and maybe 750 for the 14 plus. 800 bucks, that's a stretch. 900 bucks, are you out of your fucking mind? <sighs> anyway, what's the difference between the 13 and the 14? All right, the 13, 14 plus, with the 13 Pro Max, okay? Basically the same price. You got 120 hertz refresh rate. It goes up to one terabyte of storage. You got three cameras, so you're getting more zoom. And the battery, this has a better battery. 13 Pro Max, 4,352 milliamp battery versus 4,323. Anyway, let's just go ahead and unbox this and get this shit out the way. <laughs> Shout out to the Apple Mafia. Like I said, no, no disrespect. All right, no disrespect, but this is trash. Now, Samsung, Samsung has pulled cash grabs in the past. So, you know, they're not above, above being called out. But I got to call out shit when I see it, and I, I'm not feeling this at all. Now, one thing I do like is it did come in red. Okay, y'all know how I feel about red. I did want a big, I did want a big red phone. Imagine the 13 Pro Max or the 14 Pro Max with this color red. That would have been sick. Okay, inside, now look at this bullshit. No charge in the box. Okay, let's see, you got your product red. Apple Troll stickers, product red information. That's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna leave all this stuff nice and neat because I will sell this phone <laughs> to one of y'all fucking idiots who want to buy this shit. I will sell it. But look, I'm a G. I ain't going to sell it to you for 900 bucks. If y'all really want this phone, I sell it to you for 800 bucks. That's what you get inside. Let's get and power this up. Okay. <laughs> now I'm having way too much fun. All right, I'm going to pause the video. Let me set everything up. Shoes. All right. I mean, let me set everything up. And then we'll walk through the lack of features on this phone. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, there's one more thing that I wanted to talk about real quick while I'm in the process of downloading all my information is, look, I get it. I completely understand why some people don't want to buy a used phone. 
when you buy a used phone, you never know how the person who had it before you was taking care of it. It might have a bunch of scratches on it, might have damage on the side, might have some internal damage that you're not aware of. You might be opening yourself up to a world of problems. I understand that. And I also understand that when you buy a used phone, let's keep it real, everybody knows, that phone has been in the bathroom with somebody while it was taking the shit. If you buy this used phone for me right here, even though it looks brand new, it's definitely been in the bathroom while I was taking the dump. I completely understand that. But I just gotta give y'all my personal opinion, okay? I'd rather have a used phone and sanitize it as opposed to buying this bullshit for 900 bucks. Buy the iPhone 13 Pro Max, you're getting more cameras. It looks better. I, you throw the case on this one, nobody's gonna know that this is a peasant phone from last year. You got better battery, better display. It's just an all around better phone. Now real quick, for size comparison, here's the iPhone 14 and the 14 Plus. Okay, so if you don't like big phones and you just gotta say you have a iPhone 14, Go with the smaller version. All right, it's a lot smaller. Here's the 14 Pro. Now this one is also smaller, but it's the big boy version. And a 14 Pro Max. These are the exact same size. Now the same thing with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. All three of these are the exact same size. I just can't stress this enough. You know, I, I hate to see people getting taken advantage of and I think Apple is completely taking advantage of its customers by selling this trash for 900 bucks, knowing damn well that you could get a better phone from only a couple of months ago. Now this phone right here, this green iPhone 13 Pro Max, this only came out a few months ago. It is still better than the iPhone 14 Plus in every single way. All right, so I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet because honestly, there's not too much to really talk about. The iPhone 14 Plus, this is basically just a big iPhone 13. The only thing that really separates this from an iPhone 13 is you got the SOS via satellite and you got crash detection, which you can get from an Apple Watch. Other than that, the battery, the display, the build, the look, everything is exactly the same. You see, you still got the notch, no dynamic island, no always on display. <sighs> If this phone would've came out at 700 bucks, I get it, but for 900 bucks, hell no. Go with an iPhone 13 Pro or 13 Pro Max. Here's another difference, look at the camera. Now this is an iPhone 14, on your camera, you only got five times zoom. iPhone 13 Pro Max, look at the camera, you got up to 15 times zoom. Realistically, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is just better than this in every single way that I could think of. Now, if you're worried about the color, looking like a peasant from last year, throw a case on this. Throw a case on this, and guess what? 14 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, they both look exactly the same. Or just buy a 13 Pro Max in silver. You buy it in silver or gold, it's gonna look exactly like a 14 Pro Max. My advice would be, do not buy this shit for 900 bucks, and especially if you want more storage and you go out and buy this 14 plus for 512 gigs for 1200 bucks, nah bro, it ain't that much storage in the world. Get a 14 Pro Max 128 and get some online storage, okay? Step your game up. This is a cash grab right here. All right, this is the cash grabbiest cash grab of 2022. I complete bullshit. So I'm going to wrap this up. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving the iPhone 14 Plus a major go from last year. All right, this is, now, if this was last year, if I jump in my time machine, I'd give this a triple major go because the iPhone 13, they could have had a bigger version. They had the 13 mini, the 13, you know, the 13 mini and the 13. There was no big peasant phone. So now I, I applaud Apple for coming out with a plus version. But at 900 bucks, they out of their goddamn minds. Anyway, iPhone 14 Plus, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. And tomorrow morning, all right, I'm going to the gym. And then after I come back, I'm going to shoot my full review for the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, I looked at last year's video just to see the date. And it's almost around. I think I did that one on October 12th. So I'm right on schedule. 
All right, so come back tomorrow night or maybe Sunday, and I'll post the Snyder Cut for the 14 Pro Max, a real iPhone, a real upgrade. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys around. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat, Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad, I see y'all in the comment section early, hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes. And pitch and roll. It's your boy Floss, I'm back. Deuces. Enterprise, Spark one to beam up. some of that technology you gotta understand certain things subscribe to Flossy Carter he does reviews of all the latest technology the iPhones, the iPads, the Galaxies, the Samsungs, whatever the fuck the Beats by that doctor guy and he puts his kitty cat in the videos too for you something to look at you know I'm an animal lover so I like that shit so make sure you hit the subscribe button, the Flossy Carter on the YouTube, the follow button on the Insta face, and the like button on the face look. Because if you don't, we're going to have a fucking problem here. A bad one. Now hit the fucking subscribe button.